In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best accessories that you can get for your new laptop. This is the late 2019 LG Gram and has a wide variety of open ports available for accessories. Although you may have a different laptop, the accessories I show today still can be applicable. Let's get started. On most laptops, you'll find a setup like this. There's a charging port, USB 3.0, HDMI, and USB-C. The first item I recommend is this USB-C to HDMI cable from Uni. You'll want to get a cable like this as it will output in 4K 60Hz. A lot of times HDMI cables will only output in 4K at 30Hz, making movement lag. One side of the cable is USB-C, the other is HDMI. To use this, you plug the USB-C end into the computer and the HDMI into your monitor or TV. Getting 60 frames a second makes your monitor much more smooth and using a mouse much easier. Next, a lot of people forget when you buy a new laptop to buy a new charger as well. I leave one permanently at home and carry a second one as a spare for my office or my backpack. This one was about $40 but totally worth it as that one time you forget your charger and you can't work because your computer's dead. Amazon, Best Buy, or Newegg tend to have multiple chargers available for each laptop. Now this is the third item on the list but really the most important thing you can do when buying a new computer. Upgrade to a fast hard drive. This is an M.2 NVMe solid state drive. You'll know it's an M.2 drive based on that little notch in the end. It's an XPG SX8800 Pro. This is an extra 512 gigs of data. We already have a terabyte. So let's open our laptop and install it. When opening a laptop, sometimes you have to remove little stickers like on this one. You may also find screws underneath the rubberized supports. Once the screws are taken out, I use a non-scratching spudger like this and pull off the back plate. Nearly all laptops will have the same internal components. There's a battery, the RAM, the CPU, the heat sink and fan, and the solid state drives. To remove the M.2 drives, simply undo the bottom screw and pull it out. With that removed, I want to mention here, you can also upgrade your RAM very easily. You just undo the clips and it comes right out. Getting more RAM for your computer is probably the second best thing you can do to improve performance. We've removed the old hard drive so to put the new one in, you want to slide it in at an angle. It will click and then simply press down and screw it in. I will mention when you purchase M.2 memory, NVMe is much better than SATA 3. Double check that your laptop can support NVMe memory as it is the fastest right now in 2020. The next accessory I want to show you is related to the solid state drives. This is an M.2 enclosure made by SSK. It allows you to use an internal SSD externally, making your internal hard drive portable. It has a very fast transfer rate of 10 gigabits per second. It has a metal casing and is very strong. We can now use the old hard drive that we took out as an external drive. To set it up, simply remove this screw holding the casing down and slide apart the metal. Underneath, you'll see an adapter where you can screw in the M.2 drive. Start by removing the screw here and carefully align it so the notch fits in. Take the bolt that you just screwed out of, line it up with the end, press it down, and screw it in. It will sit very firm with the adapter. Replace the metal casing, screw it down, and now you have a very fast external hard drive. This particular enclosure came with two cables, a USB-C to USB-C or a USB-C to USB 3.0. That was a lot of letters. Miss Yudi from first grade would be proud. Next up, we have a USB 3.0 sharing switch. This thing is awesome because it allows you to use the same keyboard and mouse for two different computers without having to plug and unplug everything. Simply plug in all of your external devices and push this button here to switch between computers. This has four USB inputs and two outputs. It comes with two USB cables and some screws to hold it down. As I mentioned, this device is great if you use two computers. You no longer have to plug and unplug. Simply push a button and share your mouse and keyboard. The last item is this laptop active cooling fan. If you're doing any sort of gaming or neural networks on a laptop, something like this is necessary to prevent overheating. The stand itself is made from metal and has a plastic frame to hold it. To use it, simply put down the lever and it snaps in place. This little kickstand prevents the laptop from sliding down. It has a rubberized grip. Simply place the laptop on, turn it around, and you can see there's USB ports and a gauge 
to increase the fan speed. The USB port plugs into a charger or your laptop and gives power to the fan. A fan like this greatly decreases the temperature of your laptop. All right, that's it. I hope these items were helpful to you. You can purchase them all by clicking the links below. If there's any items you found helpful, please share them below in the comments. And thanks so much for watching.